some time ago I made this arbor for this small drill chuck and I've been using it uh, for uh, center drilling but recently I run into a problem where um, I just couldn't reach the workpiece because of the uh, length of the tailstock quill as you can see I can't get any closer without well, well this is as close as I can get so I'm now going to make a dedicated uh, holder for a uh, center drill that is about well at least five or six centimeters longer um, than this uh, setup. I bought some uh, four centimeter thick mystery metal. Hopefully, uh, it will be machinable. Here's the cutoff. It's it's big. I need to remove at least half of the material, and I'm a bit worried about the weight. I don't want to damage my life center, so I'm gonna go to the scrapyard and see if I can get some uh, thinner stock. It looks like I don't have to go to the scrapyard because this old uh, homemade drill press thing has a nice three centimeter thick massive bar and I think that will be perfect. One centimeter makes quite a difference. I think that saves about half the amount of turning I need to do. One big advantage with this uh, three centimeter piece, it fits into the throat of the chuck, so the uh, overhang is well acceptable. Yeah, the rest I'll do from the other side. The damn tool bed seems to be magnetic. I'm having a real hard time turning this stuff. All I got is. Uh, Chatter, chatter, chatter. A real nasty surface finish. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that through the glare, but come on, focus. Piece of shit. Yeah, just 
looks really bad. I tried different tools, different speeds, I even removed the chuck. But I think this stuff is just too hard. And this is just not rigid enough. I might try grabbing it in the fore jaw and supporting it with a sandal. And if that doesn't work, I'll, uh, I'll need to find uh, some other material. I gave the fore jaw a try, but it didn't work out. So now I have a new workpiece. It's a little thinner, it's 25 millimeters. I also cut it a little shorter, so it will be uh, a bit lighter. So hopefully that will help with the chatter problem. Hopefully this stuff will cut easier. I'm not sure if the leaf dock will clear the carriage. Yes, it will. Um, not great. But I, and it's it's a bit sewy. Hopefully, that's because of the scale that's on there. There is some uh, chatter there. I'll try uh, a higher speed setting, but there might be an imbalance because of the late dog. This stuff almost cuts as hard as the other material. It took forever to remove uh, this much material and it gave a real poor surface finish. Um, I'm now gonna set up the compound to cut uh, the table starting from here. Well, that's good enough for me. I've uh, started cutting the table and uh, I'm producing some nasty chips here. The uh, taper is almost cut, and now I'm gonna switch to this uh, high speed uh, tool bit with a uh, rounded point. I uh, spent quite a bit of time trying to perfect the sharpness, and uh, well, hopefully, this will get me a better finish than I, curr I currently have. I found the uh, source of the cheddar. The workpiece was a little loose between centers. Um, I think at some point it got very hot and it must have pushed the tailstock back a little. So uh, that's, a, that's a thing to uh, watch out for. Um, I'm gonna. One more thing I'm gonna do to this. Uh, taper is. I'm gonna uh, uh, segment it. I'm gonna take out a little part here, make it a bit lower. Um, 
you also see that on uh, commercially available arbors. Um, I do that because I had an arbor damage last, uh, well, last month. It uh, it broke loose, so now the inside of the quill is a bit damaged. So I thought it would be a, a good idea to just make that uh, the middle part of the uh, taper just a little bit lower. So now it's uh, time uh, to uh, to polish this uh, this uh, turd. Mm -hmm. um, I always put some oil on the uh, emery cloth. I noticed that most of the swarf will either stick to the emery cloth or the workpiece. You can just wipe that off with a rag. Let's try and fit this thing. I can't locate my uh, black uh, or blue marker pen, so I've got some green lines on there. I don't think you can see them on camera, but. grabbing there, there and there so I think that is good enough for a center drill so um, now I'm gonna bring the late dock to the other side of the workpiece and cleaning up the other end I've indicated the workpiece within a hundredth of a millimeter. I noticed that none of these um, center drills are a nice whole number when measured. So this is 488, 628, 791. Well, that's the same, 790. The bigger one is 991. So that makes drilling a, a, a bit more complicated. The first thing I'm going to try is to drill a hole for this size center drill. It's 483, this one, 486, 85. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try drilling a a five millimeter hole but I'm gonna warm up the workpiece so it will expand and hopefully it will shrink enough that it will make a tight fit uh, for this center drill I don't think it will but I'm gonna try it anyway if that fails then I'm gonna try this one it's um, 788 and I bought a 79 drill bit so that's very close uh, one more thing I know you're supposed to use reamers but I don't have any This uh, will be the first time I'm using my uh, self-made collet holder. more than enough <clears throat> the 
Now we wait and hopefully it will shrink enough, but I don't think so. I uh, cool it down with some uh, compressed air. But it is still way too close. Now I gotta try that 8.9 bit. I'm uh, still going to heat it up a little because uh, it's my experience that uh, most, hole, most holes are, uh, are a little bigger than uh, they should be. Here we go again. I wonder if this drill is on center. Well, I don't think I can get it any better, so we need to press on. It is cooled down quite a bit. I don't like this. Seems okay now. Oh, here goes nothing. And there is still movement. Even though this drill bit is supposed to be smaller than this center drill. I was afraid this was going to happen. That sucks. No need to uh, measure run out on uh, this one. It will only get me depressed. The original idea was to uh, put in a set screw, but uh, that will only push the the center drill to one side causing more run out. So now I'm thinking maybe I can cut a slit maybe two centimeters deep and then clamp it down. That might uh, that might work. For now I uh, had enough of this uh, project so uh, I'll keep using my uh, small uh, drill shock for a while longer.